Hello everyone, I am MS Gill and welcome to my sealed windows collection that I was talking about. This is uh, kind of where I keep them all. This is a little too big for the spot I had it in, but you know. So let's start at the beginning here. We got MS-DOS version 6, um, still in its factory seal. You can uh, in pause at any time to read any of this if you want. But I got this one through eBay. I got most of these through eBay. Except for the Windows XP there. And uh, the uh, the fact that these are still sealed after so much time is what astounded me. And most of these I got for pretty cheap, surprisingly, because I bartered my way down. And that's what allowed me to get so many of these. Um, but, you know, it's kind of the story of how I got these. So, DOS 6, when they tried to be, you know, DOS was on the move. Now, this one is really heavy. It's got the book in it. But this one is sealed, Windows 3.1. And uh, there it is in the big text and the nice system requirements. I, mean, I don't think we could have a computer these days that could run this. It's it's too heavy. Now you can see it's a little bit faded. Um, must have been in someone's window or something. But I got this for like five bucks, so I can't complain. So yeah, there's all that. You can pause. Fast, reliable operating system. Yeah, sadly, its time is gone. 25 years ago almost no, over 25 years ago yeah so there's good old Windows 3.1 and what's funny is I will scan the barcodes every once in a while just for fun I did that at one point where I scanned the uh, barcodes on them and they came up with uh, actual results on my barcode scanner on my phone my app so here we are at good old Windows 95 Still in its factory plastic seal, as you can see right there. Never been opened. And there's a certificate of authenticity. So you can start, you know, start me up. All those beautiful advertisements. There's, here's how to run it, you know, this is what you need. And there's, you got car point and all that which I don't think exists anymore. Plug and pray. <laughs> Microsoft network, dial-up networking. You know, all the modern stuff your computer needs to do. So that's actually the CD-ROM version, and this is, I think, OSR 2.5, because um, they advertised that on OSR 2. Um, I have to upgrade to, uh, you know, get get a different version one of these days just to have both. You know, couldn't hurt. Which I did buy something today, which I will make a video on whenever it arrives. And that's going to be a nice surprise for everyone. Um, and also you can expect a video about this guy here. That's a Gateway 2000 color book that my uncle gave me. And I don't know why I haven't made a video on it yet. I've had it longer than that guy. So, I don't know. But here's Windows NT 4.0. Upgrade for users of Windows NT Workstation. Windows 95 interface, Windows NT Power Unlimited Power. Okay, <laughs> moving on. There's that, that's probably the thing that's in the worst shape is the sticker on the bottom. But we also have another Microsoft certificate of authenticity. Microsoft such and whatever else. Look. It's pure evil. How dare they do that? Who puts two bars of task thingies, you know, programs, on the task bar that's evil? And another start logo. The internet inbox, which they said you can pause, pause, whatever else. High performance multitasking, Win 16 and Win 32. Woohoo! That's just what I always wanted. Which I miss that little logo right there in the corner, where in the browser's there. That always made me happy. You need a 486 Pentium. Don't think we can get one of those these days. It's too powerful for what modern systems use. 
Microsoft Office. Windows NT. New with Windows NT. It's kind of nice that they did the new with. It'd be nice if Microsoft actually explained what was new in some of their operating systems these days. <laughs> that was a cheap shot. So look, new version. And works better, plays better. Windows 98. Which this one has the best texture because you can actually feel all those little bumps on it. Which is beautiful. And, uh, so I think this is, um, second edition. Um, certificate of authenticity. Always use these products because our logo is on it and that means it smells nice. Or something like that. So, blah blah blah. Look at that. There's a nice clock. So when I think of the 90s, I think of that color because it was used in movies and stuff like that at the time, you know, computers and whatever else, to show your home. Your home has to be that color, right? Just kind of the sepia style tone. I don't know, I'm pulling that out of my rear end. So. USB DVD-ROM support. National Software Testing Laboratory. That's, that's stuff. Works better, plays better. Do more with your PC than ever before. Optimizes PC performance, connects you to the world. What well, if I don't want the world connected to me? But then again, if that's the case, what am I doing on YouTube? Anyways, moving on. And that's good old Windows 98. Which, I would love to get a floppy disk version of one of these days. So now we move on to old Windows 2000. Which has always had a soft spot in my heart for me because it's always... It's always worked for whatever I threw it at, um, which I might make a video of me installing it on my Dell Dimension 2400, I think, 2400, yeah, um, because it's the only, it's the oldest operating system that thing will run without throwing a fit, because drivers work good on Windows 2000. So if you want the business, you get Windows 2000 Professional. Home, Windows Me, also knows Millennial Edition, but we don't talk about it except for in a couple of minutes. Highest reliability, but my favorite is rich internet experience. And it's best in digital media, apparently. But look, manageable and easy to use. Best support for mobile computing. And now it's starting to become a thing, which was kind of interesting. Ease of Windows 98 makes common tasks easier. So you can go ahead and pause that. Wherever. More plug and pray. Except it was a lot better on 2000. Because they were just one step closer to XP. So system requirements. And I don't think we can get any of those system requirements on a PC anymore. They're just too difficult. You know, too high powered for me. And look. That's the one I need to get one of these days. It's hard to come by for a decent price. And Office 2000, which I've never been able to get to work on any of my virtual machines. One of these days, though. I plan on doing an Office tutorial series one of these days. Just because, you know, it's always nice to have. Sometimes Office can be confusing. Especially in the older versions. So now we got old Windows Me. The first one to start my channel. The one that nobody loves. I'm sorry, Windows and Me. Windows ME, mistake edition. Better living in the digital world if you were gone. What, who said that? Jerry. Jerry, stop talking. Sorry, he gets out of hand. Attention! Closed program will search your hard disk and floppy disk to confirm your eligibility for this upgrade. Software must will install only if you are a licensed user of one of the following products. I don't know why they had to type that so bold. So here's the, the impossible system requirements. Once again, too powerful for me. Copyright 2000 Microsoft Corporation. And here's the uh, magical, or magical, magical, what kind of word is that? The magical digital media world. Just look at these people. They always look. You know, bored or something. 
And choose a restore point, because system restore was a big deal. Restore as before. Windows Mistake Edition can quickly restore your computer if you run into trouble. Lights, camera, action, Windows Movie Maker. Now playing at a PC near you! Windows computing has never been easier. Uh, sure, you count blue screens as being easier, you know, whatever. Link your home to the digital world. Now that's entertainment! Connect multiple home computers together. So you raise buying for system requirements, which we already saw. And it says words there. And see, they have a little bit more just kind of boring thing here. Upgrade. Compatible with all these things. You know, the magic of Windows. So sleep. Go away, Windows, I mean. See, I'd like to get the blue version of that. I'm trying to remember which type that was, but the, the blue Windows Millennium Edition box that was always my favorite. But we already went over this guy, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But you can see this thing is still completely sealed in the Blaze Pack, which I just found on eBay for $20, and I'm tempted to buy it even though I already have this. Um, and this. I mean, this is, you know, an open one that I got at a fish store for $2, which, if I would have gone the day afterwards, it would have been a, a dollar, it was half off, but uh, but you can do amazing things. You can see, this is all here, which is crazy for a thrift store find, but uh, make a separate video on that one of these days. And of course, this is not sealed, but it is part of the collection. Good old Windows Vista Ultimate. which is good because it needed service packs. The service pack 2 was good, but it screwed it up long before that. And you're gonna need a little bit more power than what they say. Because you can't run Windows XP on this guy. You gotta have something better. In your media center. A world above and beyond Windows XP. Except for nobody thought that because nobody bought this. So this is gonna be hard to see with all the reflection of it. Pause at any time. I'll smack the camera. Yeah, why not? Upgrade! And of course, a little bit of bonus content. We got Netscape Navigator, which is also not sealed. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents um, when I bought that, uh, that compact PC. My thrift store near my house is awesome. So yes, open box, load software, explore net. Millions of people already use the World Wide Web with Netscape Navigator. Except that they were killed by Internet Explorer, who was then killed by Chrome. But we don't talk about that. Ooh, high speed. Highest of speeds. So yes, Netscape Navigator. I kind of miss these old websites and how everything used to look, but, you know. Easy internet sign up. Protect your data. I don't know why I keep putting on accents for these, but a great place to start. So yes, that is Netscape Navigator. And it tells you what's in the box. Internet email. Ease of use, high performance. With 14.4 kilobytes. That's the fastest speed. Native GIF and JPEG decompression, that's right, I said GIF with a G. HTTP, FTP, Gopher, SMTP, and NTP news. Glad we mostly use HTML anymore. For Windows 3.1, Windows for Work of 3.11, or Windows 95. See more at Netscape.com. I think it's still up and running. I'm not 100% sure though. But yes. Which I like that little animation when everything's loading, the little like stars going across. Complete Internet Access Kit, Personal Edition. Microsoft Windows compatible. So, that's this collection. And, uh, fun fact for you, that's actually the computer I started YouTube on. That little Lenovo that runs Windows XP that nowadays people are like, Why do you still use Windows XP? 
Well, I don't anymore, but, um, but yes, that is the collection. Um, still expanding it. You know, I got open versions of pretty much everything here. Um, just not in the boxes. Otherwise, I would have showed them off. But I also have a an open copy of Professional there, but it's in the, in a moving box because I had moved, um, and I can't remember where I put it. But it's in rough shape. That's one I got at a thrift store for like a dollar fifty. And then I got another one, probably at another thrift store, knowing me. But uh, that is the collection, and. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.